Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another weekly tip video. This week, we'll take a look at an iOS application that makes controlling your HomeKit devices a beautiful experience. When I started looking at how to use iPads as controllers for all of my HomeKit devices, I wanted something that looked good and was simple enough to use so that anyone could pick it up and control my home. My search led me to Home Dash, which has a beautiful looking dashboard style display with widgets that can be set up in whatever order you want. It has quickly become one of my favorite HomeKit controllers for all of my home devices, and I think you'll like it too. So this is Home Dash. Uh, the application is $9.99. Again, you might think that's a little steep for an application like this, but as you'll see, it really is worth the money if you really want to have a really nice looking interface for your HomeKit devices. So let's go ahead and launch this. We come right to the dashboard area where we can start to add our various widgets. A couple of things about navigation. You'll notice that if I come down here, I can navigate by room just by selecting this and you can see it's changing the rooms for me. And the other way I can navigate is by coming up here and you can see all the different rooms here. And if I just select a room, you can see it moves me to that room. I can come back again and come and select a room and there I'm back in that room. Now there's a couple of other things to customize here that I wanna show you before we get into adding our widgets. You can see here that these are the different dashboards. I can edit these at any time. I can move them around in different orders. So maybe I want this down here. You can see that it moves it for me. I can also delete them from here as well if I wanted to do that. And I can also add dashboards. If I scroll down, I can show the dashboard list or remove it, and that's the list that you see down here. I like to keep it here because it is quick for navigation, but you can get rid of it if you don't want it. And then I can do the preferred name for different widgets. I can call them accessories or services, and in this case, I just like to leave it as accessory. Now, the other thing I can do is I come over here to the eye, and I can customize the actual background that the widgets will lay on. I can change the room name. I can also change the color for the dot that is next to the navigation below. And then I can also change the background here. Let's go ahead and go with the purple. I could choose a custom image too if you wanted to put in a picture of your own room, but I like to leave the colors because it just makes the widgets pop. And then I can dim the background if I wanted to or delete the dashboard. I'm just gonna save it just like this. And as you can see, the color has changed. We'll go ahead and say done. And so now we're back on the widget screen. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.